Today was opening day in the Bridgegate trial in New Jersey. You know this story, right? A top political appointee of Chris Christie and his former deputy chief of staff are both facing felony charges over what prosecutors say was a criminal scheme to inflict terrible traffic on one New Jersey town on purpose as a political vendetta against that town's mayor who had the temerity to not endorse Chris Christie for re-election. Prosecutors kicked off their opening arguments today by asserting that Governor Christie knew all about it. Oh. Uh, the U.S. Attorney's Office, the prosecutors, they said today in their opening statements that over the course of this trial, they are going to prove that Christie knew about it. Now, we have long known that the defendants in this case would probably be trying to blame Chris Christie for the lane closure, saying he knew it in order to undercut the prosecution's case against these sort of smaller fish. But the defense taking that line is one thing. Now it's the defense and the prosecution. The prosecution is also taking it as a given and says they will prove that Governor Christie knew about the scheme while it was unfolding. They say they will prove it in open court. And that is, duh. Governor Christie, it's important to say, is not on trial here. But his name came up dozens of times today. Already he has become central to the trial on both sides. Now what happens? Joining us now is Matt Katz. He's covering the trial for WNYC Radio. He's also the author of American Governor, Chris Christie's Bridge to Redemption. Matt, it's great to have you with us. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Rachel. Um, I wanted to call in sick and go to the trial today. You I would did have not. It. Was it as, I mean, the, when the prosecutor said Chris Christie knew, was that a surprise? Oh, for sure. I mean, yeah. we haven't heard that at all. We heard one indication of that from a defense attorney. But to hear this from the prosecutor so early on, on day one, we knew there's this picture of Chris Christie and the conspirators hanging out at a 9-11 ceremony mm -hmm. on September 11th at Ground Zero while the lanes were closed. And there's always been suspicions about that. What the prosecutor said today is that Chris Christie was talking to these guys about the traffic jam. And while these pictures were, exactly while these right. pictures were being right. taken. That they were bragging to Christie about the traffic jam and that the mayor of Fort Lee, which was having public safety issues because of this massive traffic jam, ambulance drive getting out of their vehicle, running to the scene of incidents. They were bragging to the governor that they were ignoring calls, emails, text messages from the mayor of Fort Lee. Does the, do the prosecutors give any indication of how they will prove this very dramatic assertion about the governor? It's likely going to be almost entirely based on the testimony of David Wildstein, who has been charged in this but is cooperating. Mm. And his testimony is, is, is really the linchpin of this trial. He is testifying against both of the defendants, and in exchange he's getting a more lenient sentence. In terms of the strategy here, I understood, or at least I could fathom, I'm not a lawyer, but I could fathom why the defense would try to say, why are you going after these small fish? Obviously, this was a political vendetta serving one man's interest. This was a Chris Christie scheme, not the scheme of my clients. Yeah. Why is the prosecution also making the same point? They're making the argument that there was a culture of revenge and retaliation that ran up and down the whole administration. So they brought up other examples of both carrots and sticks that the administration would use, like, you know, tickets, free tickets to a Giants game, to a mayor who they wanted to endorse, a tour of Ground Zero, perhaps, for a mayor. But then also they were showing that there were revenge tactics ordered by the governor, like canceling meetings with a mayor who didn't uh, endorse him or causing a traffic jam. So they're trying to... Show a pattern this, of exactly. behavior, a pattern of action exactly by right. that governor's administration. Which is what's most damning for Chris Christie because everybody in that courtroom, all the lawyers, have no interest in making him look good. In fact, they all have an interest in their, according to their legal strategy, strategies in taking him down. And if they do prove it, then he's going to have to answer to the people of New Jersey for continually asserting over all these years that he had no, no knowledge, knew nothing about it. He will probably continue to say that. Matt Katz, WNYC reporter covering the Bridgegate trial. Will you come back over the course of the trial and keep telling me uh, until I can to. call out sick? <laughs> all right. It. Thanks, Matt. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.